Hi guys, Moot Duke here, and yes, the rumours are true. It looks like the devs have stopped powdering their noses for long enough to finally release Mordhau on PlayStation and Xbox consoles on July 12th. Thankfully, for you console players, the console version will not launch with crossplay, meaning your suffering should be kept to a minimum as you won't need to be at the mercy of us sweaty PC players throwing unreadable spin moves at your 30 FPS faces. What? For full transparency, this video has been recorded on a PC using a controller, so pre-warning that everything I'm about to suggest in this video is mostly based on the assumption that the devs aren't changing anything about the core game and controls, so bear in mind that this could all be subject to change. Now, I've already covered the basic Mordhau mechanics in my PC beginner's guide, and the basic principles of excels, drags, and feints will still apply for console. But make sure to check out the second half of that video linked below. Lastly, before we get into it, and yes, I know I constantly say this, but as well as potentially giving you a new addiction, you will die. A lot. Uh, you're just going to have to get used to it, especially on controller, although it is probably easier against other controller players, and honestly, you'll probably do better than I did recording this video, as fighting PC players with a controller has been pretty damn hard, yet also weirdly more intuitive than expected, even netting positive KD in most games, which was unexpected. The fact that I know how to read probably helps. Uh, most of the fun in this game, at least for me, is feeling a sense of improvement each time you play. That being said, let's get into the controls. Getting started. As stated in my PC guide, the game is mostly played in two ways, either the 240 system which uses joystick direction to determine swing direction, or binds which are basically just buttons for each swing which is technically possible but you might need a controller with extra buttons or a steam deck. For the purpose of this video, I am going to be using a standard Xbox 360 controller with the 240 system and run you through the basics of combat and the sensitivities I have found that work for me. Feel free to tweak any of these controls for your comfort and apply them however you like. The first thing I would suggest doing before even playing the tutorial is going to settings and clicking the gear in the top right. Go to controls and change your controller right X axis sensitivity to 1.47 and the controller right Y axis sensitivity to 0.81 or around those marks. Obviously you can find what is comfortable for you, but this is what's been working for me. Either way, I suggest making the right Y axis lower than the X as it ensures you can easily keep players level on your screen and only move the Y when manipulating an attack or body dodging. I've also unticked all the boxes at the top for my normal PC controls and it hasn't affected the controller play, so maybe untick them too? Uh, just make sure you click apply when you're done. Next, go to your action bindings, and honestly the default 240 controls are fine for beginners, so the only thing I'd recommend changing is unbinding gamepad right shoulder from stab and rebind that same button to left stab. It, this just helps cap some people out. If you aren't a fan of the 240 system, you can customise swings to whatever buttons you want, or add the modifier for flip attack side, which will make attacks come from the other direction when held. So now when you're in a game, it's easy to know exactly what swing you're doing and why, using this little thing in the middle. So if I'm looking to the right, I'm just going to do a right horizontal, if I'm looking to the left, I'm going to do a left horizontal, if I look up, overhead, look down, under swing, and the right shoulder does the left stab that we bound before. Creating a mercenary. As in my other beginner's guide, I wouldn't worry too much about this right away, but when you have set your controls, come up here to the top left, click on the little torso, then mercenaries. This is truly the lifeblood of Mordhau, which has some of the best customization to make whatever type of build you want in most colours and sizes. There are truly tons of options, although most items are cosmetic and will cost you gold. If you want to find out more about how the armoury works and some good builds to use, check out my armoury video, that's also in the description. Playing the game. Press fight at the top, and let's get into actually playing. Now here's where some slight console speculation comes in. Usually I'd say don't press quick play and use the server browser only, but as I'm not sure if the console version even has a server browser, go ahead and just use it. However, if it does put you in empty games and the server browser is available, click the server browser in the top right, and then if it works the same as PC, you'll be able to see all the servers available to you, along with player count and ping. Ping is especially important in this game, as if it's anywhere above 65, you're not going to have a great time. The lower is better. Although, it should be noted that apparently on release, there are no community servers available. To find a game, change the game mode to the one that you want. Don't worry about finding official servers, as that should be all there is. Hit refresh, sort by ping, and choose a Europe server, or whichever server applies to you, with the highest number of players you can enter, and double tap A. When you have loaded into the game, press right trigger to join match. Select a mercenary using the D-pad, I'll just go uh, default knight for now. Right trigger again to spawn, and you're in. It might be worth finding a button you semi-frequently use to battle cry, as no one likes a silent battlefield, and it's a shame there's not a button on controller for that by default. Alternatively, if you aren't ready for players yet, you can choose local match or horde mode to fight against bots and practice. I don't really know how much advanced swing manipulation and all the stuff that makes people insane in this game is going to translate to console, which could be a good thing, but from the hours I've played with the controller, drags and SLs are definitely possible. Most of it comes down to muscle memory and footwork, not just the swings. Now for some 
quick basics of combat. Until you have the hang of the game, don't worry too much about speed or trying to get kills quickly. Just work on the timing of the back and forth, hitting and parrying, hitting and parrying. When you've got that down, you can then move on to reposts. A repost means you queue the next attack as soon as you parry and looks like this, allowing you the chance to respond to their attack quicker than you would if you parried and did nothing at all. Try not to panic parry and learn the rhythm. Spamming left trigger will most likely cause you to be killed very quickly. You can kick by pressing in the right stick. To feint, which essentially means faking out an attack, cue your swing or stab with either the right bumper or trigger, and then during the wind up, press left bumper to feint and cancel the attack. This should hopefully make your opponent block, giving you the initiative for a free hit. I'd recommend not spamming this, but instead putting in one well-timed feint during your back and forth, and you should be able to catch them out long enough to get a swing in. Also, your feint wind up is longer than you think, so don't just click feint straight away and try to wait for the last possible moment. To morph, all you have to do is cue something like a stab by pressing the right bumper and then during the wind up, press the right trigger to morph it into a new attack. Morphs can also be feinted. To chamber, all you have to do is watch the opponent swing and then just before it hits you, click the mirror swing to them. So if they throw a right horizontal, you throw a left. I find this much harder on the 240 system, but once you get the hang of directions, it shouldn't be too hard. Excels and drags work by manipulating your swing in different ways. Instead of just standing still during the movement of your swing, you can use the right stick movement and footwork to make it hit sooner or later by pulling it away with a drag or accelerating it by leaning in. The reason you do this is to make the other players parry either too early or too late. Bear in mind, sprint is on automatically when you push the left stick all the way forward rather than pressing a button, so make sure you aren't sprinting in those moments you want to regen health and stamina. All of these basics should help you have a slightly easier time and one-up a lot of the other players who are also new to the game. But don't be afraid to take your time. All other mechanics and reading feints just take time, and the more you play the game, the better you will get. Lastly, I also recommend trying third person, which can be accessed by binding a button or pausing the game and clicking change camera perspective. Emotes. The last thing I'm going to mention really quickly is emotes. Emotes and voice lines are quite important to Mordhau to be able to communicate effectively with other players and provide that quality meme potential. They can be used to start fights, for example, by flourishing, or take a break in fights by yielding, or a weapon salute. These are probably more useful and quicker to use on PC, but are surprisingly intuitive on controller too. For full etiquette with emotes, I will refer you back for the last time to the end of the original beginner's guide video. To emote with controller, press left on D-pad to cycle through the options and then press the corresponding button to the emote you want. For example, flourish would be left D-pad once and then left bumper, whereas dance will be left D-pad three times and then left trigger. You can work it out. This is exactly the same for voice lines, but use right on the D-pad instead. There are a lot more mechanics I wish I could show you, but I must return to my sweaty PC controls. So if the game has actually released, I think it's time for you to give it a go yourself. I hope this video helped you and makes you see the magic of the first person slasher genre. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe either here or follow me on Twitch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the battlefield whenever you decide to throw that terrible console away and buy a PC instead.